Hello, and welcome back to the Troubles of Middle-Earth Tome, for short. This is the playthrough, having never left Bree to get to level 50. I'm Circle Master. We are still Bozo, the Zombie Troll Alchemist. Uh, looks like my inventory is sorted. Yeah, I've got scrolls for to recall. So let's head back down to Mordor. Not Mordor, Mirkwood. That place. Uh, right. Next level down has... Another quest. There's the down staircase down in the corner. Right, I can fly. I'm just going to go there. I'm going to stop to pick up this cloak first, though. And let's see, giant blue ants guarding a princess. Let's find out where she is. There she is, just north. And I have a little bit of telepathy with ants because they're not totally mindless. But they are simple. It's not going to let me see what that is. But there is another person in there. Right, there's a bunch of orcs here too. Maybe I should deal with them. These hill orcs are kind of out of their league. I'm not sure why they showed up here. But by this point of Mirkwood, uh, hill orcs are no problem. So let's see. Ooh, a pair of hard leather boots. Let's go with those. There is a certain specific artifact. Oh, that's Brodo the Easterling. He is way out of his depth. He belongs back in, like, the Barrow Downs. And he just fell to one round of combat, if that. I don't have any identify anything, do I? No, I don't. Right, down I go. This princess has been imprisoned by ticks. And where is she at? She's down there. Let's take the shortcut. Whoop, something just happened. Uh, all the boots are excellent. So they are not the artifact boots that I was after, but they're still probably decent. Although I do have boots of speed on. Uh, all Pike, Double Ring Mail, or Tulwar. None of those are things that I want. Diagnosis 23 says murder the world. Um, that's kind of an option. If you want to wear the one ring, you can actually murder all the towns in the world. I think I'm going to go with the mail just because it's most likely to be useful to me. Alright, what is that? Oh, it's just a druid. That is not a unique, and druids can summon. They're actually pretty annoying spellcasters, so I'm happy to leave him alone. Ethereal Drake. Skippy Granola says, What up, Seamast? Thanks for tuning in, Skippy. And acknowledging my existence. Yes, this is a classic roguelike. Look at all these ASCII characters. It's like Dwarf Fortress, but uh, linear. 
Uh, so where is this princess? Oh, we have our first vault. That is... You can always tell a vault in Mirkwood because it has granite walls. We are going to check that out. Uh, but first I need to identify... Oh, there's the princess. Right by the vault. Okay, so... Vaults have lots of monsters and lots of traps and lots of goodies, lots of loot. I'm getting notifications. There's a good scimitar in my pack. I literally don't care about that because it has no enchantments on it. I still haven't gotten any kind of feeling about this cloak that I'm wearing. Not wearing, carrying. Right, so what was that? A door burst open. Another door burst open. Okay, there's a bunch of hounds in here. Up. Oh, I found a gravity ball trap. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little more cheating. Just so I can show off all of the monsters and traps. There's actually not that many in this vault. But you can see the capital M. That's another uh, probably three-headed hydra or more than. Could be four or five at this point. Uh, the capital E, I think, is an elemental. The capital Zs are hounds, as we've established. Um, yeah, nothing too threatening. Although, if my cursor will show up on the stream, it will. I'm a little skeptical about this little patch of tree right here. That might actually be a monster. That could be like an ant or something like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead, get rid of, okay, it's a three-headed hydra, and I should be able to, yep, tunnel right in, I'm just going to avoid that suspicious tree, I'm going to go in on this side, is this hydra running away from me, is that what I'm seeing? These are air hounds. Uh, novice rangers are not at all. Wait a minute. I just picked up a pebble 3d6. That has got to be an artifact because pebbles are not normally 3d6. Alright, I need to destroy that air hound corpse because I don't actually want to carry that around with me. That was an ethereal drake. I wonder if that's one of the ones that was guarding the princess. Penn says, hey, Circle Master, you slay those air hounds. Well, that's the plan. I don't need a novice ranger corpse, that's for sure. A king cobra egg. Eggs can hatch into friendly critters. They're not actually terribly useful. But if you have a pet focus build or something, it's an option. I think these are the ethereal drakes that uh, are supposed to be guarding the princess. They're just traveling through the walls, being ethereal. I have a scroll of trap creation. Let's just uh, let's just get rid of that right away because I don't need any additional traps. I'm kind of getting weighed down by the stuff that I'm picking up. And now I've got, I'm out of room for things, so I'm going to drop these bottles. Grab the leather armor. Uh, I haven't gotten feelings, I've got a scroll of remove curse I don't need, I can destroy that. Giant slug, uh, an essence of confusion is pretty trivial to come by. Um, what can I get rid of now? Hmm. 
You know what, I'm gonna risk the cloak, because I just picked it up at random, rather than it actually being... a thing. Yep, and that was the last Drake, and now the princess, who can't even see me, is telling me how about I give you a reward, all that good stuff, and we're going for the broadsword here, that's an easy choice. Essence of Chaos. That's why that's multicolored. That... Okay, now we're getting some feelings on things. I don't need good or average equipment. Whoops. And I'm just going to bypass the suspicious tree. And all of the loot that that wyvern just dropped disappeared because it was over trees and you can't write objects into trees. Average metal scale mail, let's destroy that. So we've got a couple room, a uh, couple places left in our inventory. Let's go down again. And it's Fumble Fingers. A young black dragon. Well, black dragons can fly. I, whoops, what was that message? Metal boomerang is only good. We don't care about good. There's no up staircase where I came up. There's just a tree there instead. That, I don't understand. There's a black dragon. I really don't care about the, uh, items they would drop. They're incredibly unlikely to be artifacts of any kind. There is... Is that a special dog, that blue sea? I can't even see it. Nope, just a blank dog. Just some dogs in a group. What was that? Uh, light War Axe is average. We can get rid of that then. Kill some orcs. You can't see me because I'm invisible and they're dumb. That's just a quarter staff. Bastard Sword and Ball and Chain are both just good. Uh, for reference, good means it just has pluses to hidden damage, but no special enchantment. Excellent means it has an enchantment of some quality that's positive. It's not cursed. Uh, special is an artifact. Let's get rid of a good Lucerne Hammer and an average flail. Another hallway full of hounds. This is a little room full of, I'm going to guess, yeah, lizard men. More air hounds.
I'm only walking on the trees because there are sometimes traps in these checkerboard rooms. But there's no traps in the trees. So if I only step on trees, I can't step on traps. Did I not just see? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just a fruit fly. I thought it was a breeder that was going to ruin my life. We got some cursed arrows. Cursed obviously means a penalty to hit and damage with them. On top of, like, not being able to take it off without a scroll of remove curse. The usual fun stuff that comes with curses. Alright, we've got some purple staircases here. Staircases that are purple on the overworld map lead to dungeons, but within a dungeon, a purple staircase leads to a special dungeon. In this case, the heart of the world. Or heart of the earth, I think is what it's more often known as. Um, I will probably just dip into there to show off what it looks like, but there's not really anything in there worth doing anything with. You know, there's uh, no boss, no particular loot, no quest to go in there. And honestly, it's kind of a pain to navigate. There we go, the rounded pebble in my pack is special. But I need that from the hit die, as previously discussed. That's a wolf, he's seriously outclassed. I don't see another dragon over here yet. How many am I missing? Diagnosis asks, what are those C's? Capital C is like canine, so it's like wolves, hounds, Dogs, things like that. Uh, there are two dragons left. And there they are. And I step on a trap, of course. So, as per usual, we do not want to help in our adventure so that he will teach us a skill. All of these skills are bad, with the exception of archery, which is only mediocre. But Minecraft is a pretty meh kind of spell casting. Anti-magic is obviously bad. It would prevent us from using magic like alchemy and mimicry. And necromancy, uh, there's a way to make it work, but not picking up from fungible fingers. So we're just going to get a little better at archery instead. So let me see, is there anything else? Oh, I can get rid of a cursed item, get rid of an average item. The good ring mail I can get rid of. Alright, so we're going to show off real quick what the heart of the earth looks like. And it looks like a mess of granite walls and open spaces. But as you can see, things shift around a bit. 
these shifting walls are the gimmick of the heart of the earth and you see in the bottom right HOE for heart of earth but as I said there's not really a good reason to explore this dungeon uh, and as far as I know there's not even a boss here so we're just gonna head back on up to Mirkwood and continue down to another princess and she's right over here there's a white wraith who dropped a really terrible item young blue dragons Or no trouble at this point, or should be no trouble for you at this point. Although I do see a unique orc, that pink O down there. I bet he's unique with his little entourage. Nope, he's just a black orc captain. I was wrong. Back I go. Sarm, a cleaver, or a splint mail. Let's go for the armor. Did I pick up a... I did. I picked up a treasure chest. Treasure chests are usually trapped. So we use our disarm thing to disarm it. Before we open it up. And scoop up the contents. What do we have there? An average spear we can get rid of. Starting to fill up on magical equipment as well. But we're going to keep going down. A princess guarded by Aranea, or Aranea, which are like magical spellcasting spiders. And it's off to the right. I have a good small sword, which I don't care for. So yes, capital S for Spar spider. And they are hitting me with lots of spells. Enough to make me worried about my health. So I'm going to retreat to this corner where only one can see me at a time and I can just slay it when it steps up uh... thunderlord coat is an interesting set of armor and more interesting than the other options so I'll just grab that and I'll rest a bit until I get accosted Now we have a Thunderlord coat. And we have another Fumble Fingers quest for Grey Wraith. Another Flyer, although. It certainly seems like we can see them from a ways off. Also, seems like they're not very strong. Thunderlord Coat's excellent, as it ought to be, being a princess reward. There's one down there. The 
wraiths don't seem to be able to go over trees, which is odd. One would think that they could. Well, these uh, black capital B's are Crabanes. They just screeched and woke up everything around. So everything went from nice and peaceful on this level to lots of things after me. Another Hydra. A four headed Hydra. Aha, we have a unique Ivan, son of Mim, who's a dwarf and sorceress. Who can heal himself, which is rude. Monsters that can heal themselves are always rude. But not nearly as rude as the monsters that summon. And I am out of room in my inventory. Have I got anything I can get rid of? I have a cursed dagger. And a cursed scale mail. And otherwise, I'm getting a pretty full. And I think I'm at the edge. Nope, I wasn't. That was a lie. Now I am. Crossbow is only good. Don't need that. There's another wraith. And that was the last one. Magic device, thaumaturgy, summoning, and conveyance. Summoning is utterly broken. I may have mentioned that before, but if you want to break the game over your knee without grinding to level 50 in town, just be a summoner and let your pets do all of the work for you. Uh, thaumaturgy is a unique kind of magic, which I'm not going to get into. Conveyance is just like teleport spells. So we're going to get some free points in magic device. That's going to help us with rods and staves and whatnot. Oh, there's a down staircase. I'm just gonna see what's down on the next level and then recall out an Etten. Well, more than one Etten, I'm sure. Actually, how much? I've got a couple slots. I'm going to get this princess reward and then recall. And she's down there. I'm just going to sneak by all those ogres and whatnot. Etins are tough, as you can see. Full round of combat, only about 30% of its health. And I am nervous enough that I'm actually going to retreat and make use of my ability to fly. To take on these enemies one at a time.
But you'll see uh, in the messages, instead of hitting, I says you scratch the etten. That means like you were barely hitting, and I'm occasionally missing as well. So my my poor to hit rate is showing itself poorly. Hopefully, uh, some of these items I've gotten will give me a recipe to let me craft something really nice. But that's actually going to be a concern by the end of Merkwood. Arrows, soft stuff, leather, leather or flail. Let's go with the leather. Especially since it was arrows, plural. I can pretty well guess. That it's not going to be an artifact. You know what, I am certain that there are traps around, so I'm just gonna pop a charge at the staff and look at that I cleared some, cleared a hole for me to step through all right so multi hue dragons are coming up next but in the meantime it's time to recall back to town and see what we've got let's go ask Galadriel who will charge us money for this for some reason but money is something we have in abundance. We got a potion of dexterity. That's ours. Mirkwood. The bottom of Mirkwood is a good place to look for stat potions. If you're uh, grinding for that sort of thing. Which you will need to. A scroll of blessing. Who cares? Rod tip of frost bolts. Attack rods. Generally not useful. I say as I get into the one. A wand of fire flash of plenty. Fire flash is a useful spell. It's area effect fire damage. Uh, usually if you are a mage spellcaster, fire flash will replace mana thrust as your default attack spell. Despite the fact that a lot of things do resist fire. Um, just the, uh, the good AoE damage, it scales better to your level than, uh, Mana Thrust does. A Ring of Shard Resistance, pretty sure we already resist shards, Ring of Free Action, pretty sure we already have Free Action. We're starting to get into the Princess Rewards now, we've got Resist Fire, which is pretty basic. Dwarven Splint Mail. Which has some decent bonuses to it. Elven Sosta Leather of Resist Fire, so it's double branded, but Elven is really not up to snuff for us. Thunderlord Coat of Resist Lightning. Thunderlord Coats are nice because uh, they have a high base armor rating of 9 without a uh, penalty to your hit to your accuracy. And all Thunderlord Coats give you resistance to fire and cold. Hard leather boots of stealth are not worth wearing over our boots of speed. A spectral broadsword is just not worth using. Sharp is also not good. Here we go, our artifact pebble, the rounded pebble Travak. And it just does extra damage from every element. Acid, electricity, fire, frost, and poison. Basically every damaging element it could have, it has. And the empty bottles. What a waste of time. So let's sell off what we can.
And he's out of room. Oh yes, also the villagers in Lothlorien are elven, as you might expect. So you have elven singing happy drunks and whatnot. And the black market doesn't have anything useful. Let's drop off this pebble, I suppose. Until we have a better use for it. Oh, he's got, whoops, he's got an artifact for sale. Uh, not particularly impressive, though. I don't think he'll take much of anything that I have. Yeah, he'll just buy the empty bottles. So I think the rings and stuff are just going to get dropped on the ground. Yeah, nobody else will buy them. I just picked something up I didn't want. Essence of Light. Alright, let him... I... see for alchemy. Let's just leech the, uh... Essences out of some of these, actually. Inventory's cleared out again. We'll recall back to those young multi hued dragons. I'm gonna see what this thing is. It might be a unique thing. Whoops. It is! It's Mim, Betrayer of Turin. We just killed his son moments ago. And he can disenchant our stuff, which. Makes me really upset at him. Oh, and he can teleport away, which makes me even more upset at him. There he is, he's down there. Uh, let me see what my boots are at. My boots are down to a plus one armor bonus. It can't reduce the uh, the actual like speed bonus, but it makes them less uh, protective. It's quite annoying most of the time. If they disenchant your weapons, your weapons will suddenly do less damage and be less likely to hit. Also, there are mind flares in this game. Because if we're stealing from Tolkien properties, why don't we steal from Dungeons and Dragons while we're at it? They can do quite a bit of sanity damage to you, and if you run out of sanity, you die. But sanity is a lot harder to restore.
And all these multi-hue dragons are attacking me over the trees, so all of their loot is disappearing. I'm not too broken up about it. Executioner's Sword. Let's go for that. That could be interesting. Alright. Oh, I've just lost my Staff of Disarm. To the stupid lava. I should have probably used one of those essences of fire to make it fireproof, but oh well. That's what you get when you don't think about things. Oh, is this monster going to come at me, or... Nope, he doesn't want to cross the lava. So I will rest up the manual way, very slowly. Uh, I've got a good shield, which is not worth carrying. And down we go, to another Fumble Fingers, and Black Wraiths. Fifteen of them, to be exact. Make that 14. What disappeared? A po he had a potion of healing. He had an actual piece of really good loot. And now I'm upset about it. And of course, the one I kill over here drops a scroll of light, as did the other one. Right, well, I don't need these scrolls of light. My inventory already being full, I don't need a ring of stupidity. Or a ring of sustained charisma. Or a cursed amulet of teleportation. I also don't need this rod tip of lightning bolts. So the one really good piece of loot that dropped, the potion of healing, is the one that disappeared forever. And I get a bunch of miscellaneous crap. You know what? I'm just going to roll with it. Although I'm going to drop this empty bottle and get the ring. And yes, the sword that was a reward is excellent because of course it is. That pink R, I bet, is either the Rat Queen or the Rat King. Yep, Potion of Healing.
It is the Rat King. And he died pretty quickly. Unfortunately, there are were rats here who can summon other rats. And they're trying to make my life miserable. Wow, what just happened? That is a, ooh, Green Thunderlord, okay. This would be a time to read one of those scrolls of teleportation. And end up in a pack of ogres. That wraith is going to flee. Nope, it came it's coming back. But at this point, yeah. Okay, now I should be able to rest. There we go. I'm back to full. That was briefly terrifying. Let's see what I can do about finding some more race. There's one. It would be right around now that I'm really wishing I had a vampiric weapon. Unfortunately, I lack that enchantment. But I do need to keep my eyes peeled for that uh, green thunderlord that wrecked my day, almost. Uh, it's a good thing I have some scrolls to satisfy hunger still. There's another wraith. And that's the last one. No, I don't want you to join me. Well, I could get some archery again, or I can get more free magic device. I'll go with free magic device, just because it's more likely to be useful. I know there were some down staircases at the bottom. Over here. There's one. A silent Watcher stole his sword. Silent Watchers don't move. How could they have stolen his sword? This is why he's called Fumble Fingers. The only way that a never moving monster could have stolen something from him is if he dropped it on top of them. But we are going to recall out with our overflowing inventory. Uh, 
That's a quest. That's not what I want. Where's the... One of these is restoration. There we go. That did not work. Can I sell you something that I don't need? Here, have a light brown potion. Now give me a potion to restore life levels. Thank you. Now then. Let's research some stuff. Some potions of restore. A potion of resistance. I'm going to want more of those. Slow poison is pretty useless. Another stat potion. An anti-stat potion. Scroll of enchant weapon is not going to do any good. Staff of recovery. That could have been useful if I didn't already buy that potion to restore life levels. Some very basic equipment here. A regular dagger, who cares? A rapier of slay orc, who cares? An executioner's sword of greater slay demon. Really only notable for chaos resistance. Right, essences, empty bottle. That was pretty terrible, all told. So. Let's go ahead and sell off what we can. I'm going to hang on to the potion of resistance. Drop the essences off. Sell those. Are you still full? You're still full. Just realized I don't have any light source. But I don't really need one. Now then. Nothing terribly useful there. Go back to daytime, check once more. There's an ever-burning torch. Why not? It'll be an extra pip of light. Diagnosis says, sounds like a comedy of errors with all fumble fingers. He's, he's clumsy, but he's a good source of skills. Unfortunately, he's not giving us any additional mimicry like I want him to. Hopefully, he will when we finish out Mirkwood next time. But as for now, we're butting up on an hour. So, we'll call it a night there. Tomorrow morning, more Final Fantasy IV. And until then, take care.